Don't stick your tongue out. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Aiden. He's my four-year-old little monkey. And today I'm going to film everything that he eats in a typical school day. Oh, he's gone. I'm actually doing this video alongside some of my fellow Channel Mum vloggers. So Elise, Cherie and Rianne from Pop Rocks Mama and a whole list of others, all of whom I will link in the description box below so you can go and check them out. But they all have different children at different ages. So Elise is doing a What My Four Year Old Eats In A Day Like Me. And then Rianne has, uh, I think Sienna is, 18 months old or thereabouts so she'll be doing it from that perspective and I just think it's a really nice way of you finding other mums with children that might be the same age as your little monkeys and you can find out what they typically eat in a day according to what's relevant for you. So do go and check them all out, I have them all listed below as I said and let's get on with what Aiden eats in a typical day. So at the moment, Aiden is enjoying this granola. He will eat it with milk, but I find that if he has it with yogurt, he'll eat it all. Whereas if he'll have it with milk, he'll have a couple of spoonfuls and then just leave it all swimming in the bowl in the milk. So I think he finds it easier to eat with yogurt because it kind of binds it together rather than having to fish it out of the bowl, if that makes sense. So he has this honey and almond granola and this yogurt, or any yogurt to be honest, but this one is one that I particularly like and he happened to have it in the fridge so he's had that this morning and if I've got raspberries I'll put them in as well but we're running really low on fruit so I just put some of the yogurt and granola but I would preferably put fruit in too if I have it in the fridge. Oh yum! These are nice? Yeah. Is that your favourite breakfast? I eat the camera. Today's a school day for Aiden, so I thought I would show you what I typically pack in his lunchbox. I'm about to go make him a sandwich, so that will go in there as well, but I just thought I'd film this quickly while it's quiet. So he will have a cheddar cheese sandwich, then he'll usually have a yogurt tube. He takes in some fruit for his break time as well, so that goes in with his lunch. Then a small box of raisins, and I'll wrap up one of these Welsh cakes, which are Aiden's favourite, in a piece of foil, just the one, not the whole packet. If you've never tried a Welsh cake, you really should. They're amazing. They are, they have raisins in them and they're completely yummy. So he'll have one of those. And then his drink, he takes a bottle of water to drink throughout the day, but I just pop one of these in his lunchbox. He hardly drinks any of it, to be honest, but he has that in his lunchbox if he gets thirsty as well. I'm just about to go and pick the kids up from school. I've got about 20 minutes until I have to leave. So I thought I would do some prep for dinner because I've got quite a lot to get on with this evening. So. The more I can get done before they get home from school and it all becomes chaos, the better. And that's one of my new school year resolutions actually is to do as much as I can before they come home from school so that I'm kind of one step ahead of myself instead of chasing my tail all the time. So tonight we are having, we're all having the same thing and it's actually one of Aiden's favourites. So I thought it would be a good one to show you as well. It's adapted from a Jamie Oliver recipe, I think. I think that's where I got it from first off. And it's a sausage pasta. It's kind of similar to a bolognese, but it's made with sausage meat instead, which it makes it particularly tasty and all kids, well, certainly all my kids love sausages, so they particularly like this pasta dish. It goes great with any pasta, obviously, but I do ours with rigatoni and it's really, really simple and goes down a treat. And you can smuggle some veg in there as well, which I've done on more than one occasion. It looks really unappetizing on camera, but this is basically a red onion uh, softened in some olive oil with some with two cloves of garlic, and then you squeeze the sausage meat out of the skin. So I've just bought a packet of regular uh, Tesco finest, I think they were pork sausages. Squeeze the meat out of them and sort of break it up as it browns. Then I just add a jar of passata, which is a tip I've picked up along the way. Instead of using chopped tomatoes, which can tend to be a bit chunkier and the kids tend to push the sort of bits of tomato around their plate, I use passata instead. So I'll add a jar of passata to the sausage and onion and garlic mixture and then just season to taste. I also add, which I probably shouldn't because I'm trying to lose the baby weight, but I also add a knob of butter or sometimes I'll add a spoonful of pesto for extra flavour and 
and a little bit of gra uh, grated Parmesan cheese into the sauce and then on top for anyone that wants it and they absolutely love it. So that's Aidan's finished sausage rigatoni. It really doesn't look very appetizing on camera, but you know, aesthetically pleasing or not, it does taste really good. I like the tiny This is yummy food. Aidan will usually have something sweet after his dinner as long as he's eaten it all and mummy confession. I do tend to use that as a bit of a carrot to dangle in front of him to make him finish things that he might not be so keen on. But uh, a typical treat for Aidan after his dinner would be something like a small cake or a biscuit or a brioche with chocolate chips or something like that. His nan has actually brought over some fairy cakes as a little treat because they're all back to school this week. So that's what he's having as his treat after his dinner with a glass of milk. So we really hope you enjoyed watching this video and seeing what Aiden eats in a typical day. It has been a school day so perhaps it would be interesting to do a what he typically eats on the weekend video as well. Maybe we'll do that. What is it with you and looking at yourself <laughs> in the camera and just opening your mouth? Why is that a fun thing to do? I get the sticking the tongue out thing, but... Okay, so me and this crazy cat are gonna go. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it interesting seeing what Aiden eats or doesn't eat in a day or takes forever to eat in a day. Please don't forget to check out the other Channel Mum vloggers and their videos which are linked below and I'll see you in my next one.